Hi, welcome back to My Mom Life. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Jordan, and today I am sharing with you how to make a chocolate peanut butter poke cake. The ingredients you're going to need are all right here. You're going to need a can of chocolate frosting, a small thing of vanilla pudding mix, the instant kind, some chocolate cake mix, peanut butter, Cool Whip, and of course, you need some Reese's peanut butter cups. And then you'll also need the ingredients um, that it takes to make your cake mix. So the first thing that you're going to do is make your box cake mix in a 13 by nine pan. I always spray my pan, so that is what I'm doing now. And then I'm going to mix up the cake mix according to the back of the box and then bake it up. And you're gonna let it cool for about 15 minutes. And I will tell you what to do next in just a sec. Okay, my cake is cooked and cooled for about 15 minutes. Um, you know that it's cool enough when you can touch the pan and it's not too hot to touch. Then you're gonna take the back of a wooden spoon and you're going to poke holes all through your warm cake. And this is giving us a place for our pudding mixture to sink down into the cake and get nice and delicious and yummy. So you're gonna poke those holes, set that aside, and then we will whip up the pudding mixture. You're gonna take your vanilla pudding and put it in a bowl with two cups of milk and give it a good whisk and try to dissolve all of that pudding into the milk. And then we're gonna add in some peanut butter, about half a cup. I'm not measuring here, but I will have measurements and a full recipe written out for you down in the description box if you're interested in that. Now I'm adding in the peanut butter and I'm gonna give it a good mix and just get it all nice and combined. And then we are gonna spread that onto the cake and um, then we're gonna pop it into the fridge and let it set up for just a little bit. You just wanna let it set up for like 30 minutes or not even that long really, but enough to where um, when you move on to the next step, you're not gonna just slide that pudding mixture um, you know, all over the place. So you're gonna let it set up in the fridge and then we will put the chocolate frosting on. This cake is really easy to throw together and really impressive because there are quite a few steps, but it's all so easy to do and the ingredients are so easy to work with. So. It's a delicious, decadent, rich cake, but it's super easy to throw together. So now that I have that pudding mixture um, all spread out, like I said, I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and let it chill for about 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and get the chocolate frosting ready. You're just gonna use canned frosting here. It's easy and it's cheap and it's delicious. So we're gonna take the frosting and you're gonna make sure that you get all that foil off of the lid and then we are going to melt it in the microwave. Melt it in 30 second intervals just until it is like this consistency and you're gonna pour it over the cake. Now you wanna be careful here because we wanna have layers. So um, 
when you go to spread this, it's um, easy to mess up the bottom layer. So try and just be really gentle when spreading it around. And then we are going to pop this back into the fridge for about an hour so that that chocolate frosting can set up. Then we will move on to the next step. Okay, it's been about an hour and I'm going to go ahead and whip up the final frosting. You're gonna take your tub of Cool Whip and you're gonna mix it with some more peanut butter. And um, be careful when you're mixing this because you don't wanna stir it. You want to kind of fold the peanut butter in because you don't wanna deflate your Cool Whip. Um, and yeah, that's as easy as it gets. You seriously just mix the two together and that is your frosting for the cake. The last thing that I'm going to do to prepare to get this cake ready is to cut up our Reese's peanut butter cups. I bought a pack of 12 and that was perfect to go on top. You can do more or less, whatever you like. You could top it with anything really, but I thought peanut butter cups, I mean, what's better? So I'm gonna go ahead and chop all of these up into little tiny pieces and then we will go ahead and assemble our cake. Okay, it is time to put it all together. I'm gonna to take the peanut butter Cool Whip mixture and put it on top of the cake and spread it out. This is where it can get messy. <laughs> so you want to do your best to try not to move around that chocolate frosting. The longer you can leave it in the fridge, um, the better it'll set up, but still it doesn't set like completely, completely. So there is gonna be a little bit of chocolate frosting peeking through, it's totally fine. It tastes so good, it doesn't matter. So you're gonna spread the peanut butter Cool Whip mixture all across your cake, and then you're gonna top it with your chopped up Reese's, and that is it. You could drizzle more chocolate sauce, more peanut butter, whatever you want on top, but I think that this was perfect just the way it was, and I hope that you try this recipe. This would be awesome for Valentine's Day to impress anyone in your life, and I hope that you try this recipe. If you do, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around, and I'll see y'all my next one. Bye, guys.